Dear students, now we are going to discuss scattering losses in optical communication. In general, glass fiber is composed of several oxides and randomly connected network of molecules. Due to this, there is a variation in the density of molecules and compositional structural fluctuations. Due to the non-uniformities in the optical fiber, the light signal gets scattered in all directions. So that loss is known as scattering loss. Do you all understand this concept? So here, the major factors caused for scattering losses are microscopic variations in the density of fiber material, compositional fluctuations, structural inhomogeneities, and structural defects in fiber during the manufacturing process. Okay. So this is the general fiber class. So when the light signal enters the fiber material, here the light is guided along the core axis using the total internal reflection mechanism. But due to this non-uniformities in the fiber cable, here the light gets scattered in all direction. That mode is known as leaky mode. So here the normal wave propagation is known as guided mode. Here due to the non-uniformities, some of the optical power is transferred from one mode to another mode. From guided mode to leaky mode. This leaky mode is also known as radiation mode. Okay. There are different types of scattering losses available. The major classification is linear scattering, non-linear scattering. There are two types in this linear scattering. Rayleigh scattering, me scattering. In this non-linear scattering, there are two types. Stimulated brillouin scattering, stimulated Roman scattering. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss linear scattering methods in detail. In the next video lecture, we will discuss non-linear scattering. Okay. The first one is linear scattering. In this linear scattering method, the optical power is linearly transferred from one mode to another mode without changing the frequency. That means there is no change in the frequency range. At constant frequency, the optical power is transferred from guided mode to leaky mode. Okay. So this linear scattering losses occur in the leaky mode. There are two types, Rayleigh scattering, me scattering. So first one is Rayleigh scattering. So this type of scattering occurs due to the microscopic fluctuations in the molecule density and compositional structural fluctuations. These two effects result in a refractive index variation within the glass fiber. Correct? So here the refractive index it is depending on the fiber material. If there is any fluctuations in the molecule density or structural fluctuations, it will affect the refractive index. So this refractive index variation causes the Rayleigh scattering. So this process is similar to the light scattering from the sun. So here the scattering is done in all the directions from the sunlight, right? That's why the sky is looking like blue color, okay? So here it is more effective at short wavelength. So, so it is the dominant intrinsic loss. So it's scattering process looking like this. It is scattering in all directions with equal density, okay? The scattering loss for single component glass fiber is given as 8 pi cube by 3 lambda power 4 n square minus 1 the whole square k b t f beta t. So its unit is numbers. In terms of db, we have to multiply this value with 10 log e. Okay. So here n is nothing but the refractive index k b is the Boltzmann constant. And here beta T, that is isothermal compressibility of material, Tf is the fictive temperature. So this is the temperature at which the density fluctuations are frozen into glass as it solidifies, okay. So this is the fictive temperature value, okay. So these are the values given for the 
specific single component glass fiber. So next one is for multi component glass fiber. So here the scattering losses given as 8 pi cube by 3 lambda power 4 del n squared the whole square del v. Here del n squared is the mean square of refractive index fluctuations. So del n squared the whole square is the square of mean square of refractive index fluctuations. So this value depends on density fluctuation and concentration fluctuations. Del V is the volume. From these two expressions, we can identify that Rayleigh scattering depends on 1 by lambda power 4 characteristics. Since Rayleigh scattering has 1 by lambda power 4 characteristics, here this loss can be decreased by increasing the wavelength. Do you all understand this concept? Next one is me scattering. So it is the linear scattering which is caused by inhomogeneities with size greater than lambda by 10 in the forward direction. So here the major factors caused for me scattering are given. It is occurred due to the non-perfect cylindrical structure. If the fiber cable is like the cylindrical structure, this will cause me scattering that is large angular dependence. Next one is fiber imperfections like diameter fluctuations, core cladding, interface irregularities. So me scattering can cause significant losses in the optical communication. So it occurs widely in the forward direction. So okay. in general example we can say clouds in white color due to this me scattering. Because the light signal is coming towards the air due to the water particles in the clouds affects this light signal and makes this scattered in this directions. So it will cause white color. Okay. So it is scattered in all directions. All range of wavelengths in all directions are possible. Okay. So next reduction mechanisms of me scattering. It can be reduced by increasing the relative refractive index difference. Okay, so this refractive index difference can be increased to reduce the me scattering by removing the imperfections in fiber and controlled coating of the fiber. This are the reduction mechanisms. Okay.